Hello folks, Bob here. I got something I want to show you. But don't call the ATF on me because this is legal. This is a grease gun holder. Grease gun holder. I hope YouTube doesn't ban this because I said the word gun. But there are other types of guns but kinds besides the kind that go bang. This one here just goes squish. So, just so uh, people know what I'm talking about. When I say grease gun, grease gun, grease gun, grease gun, this is a grease gun, folks. I don't know what you're seeing because I'm behind the camp in front of the camera. And so this is what you use to grease your mechanical devices. Very important to have a grease gun. Like, so if you're going to go out and buy a tractor, the first thing you should buy is a grease gun. So, what do you do with it, though? Well... I kind of hang it up like that before today until I found this at my Kubota dealer. Grease gun holder. It's made by Pews Lubramatic. And uh, a simple snap action clamp. Holds all standard grease guns and suction guns. Ooh, I don't know what a suction gun is. With a two and one quarter inch inch folks I'm sorry I'm not going to do the math a uh, uh, inch in centimeters is 2.5 something so approximately two and a half centimeters for every inch so this is over this will hold a five centimeter grease gun if they're the same way everywhere else in the world got a part number here 70-901 and it easily mounts to almost any almost any surface so the one thing it didn't include it did include hardware for mounting so I guess that's because some people might mount this with machine um, machine screws I'm going to use some wood screws I'm going to secure it to a piece of plywood and uh, so I'm going to take you along and uh, hang on for the right. So let's go ahead and take it out. Take a look at it. Doesn't come with instructions. Those are the best kind of things to buy. Anything that doesn't come with instructions is going to be nice. So here's how it works, folks. Your grease gun goes in here like this. going to wrap around it like that you're going to take well let's see it says it's easy and then it's going to snap right like that and when that's mounted on the wall it's going to hold it there so you'll know where your grease gun is every time you go for it that is if you put it back sometimes I forget so let me go grab a uh, I got a drill bit let me go grab a drill and uh, move the camera and uh, we'll see what we're going to do here. I think I'm going to mount it right here below my uh, circuit breaker box. Sometimes we Americans call them fuse boxes. But anyhow, I digress.
that's it. That's how she works, folks. And uh, I don't know if I can. Uh, I found the last one. That's the last one that they had on the shelf at uh, Messix when I was there visiting the uh, Rittner Highway Kubota store. So uh, if I can locate that on uh, Amazon, I'll put a link into it. Just so you know, I have no financial uh, benefit. I bought that with my own money, and I have nothing to gain. This is just something I bought to help me organize my unorganized shop. I got a long way to go. But anyhow, thank you for stopping by. If you like this video, if it gives you some ideas, hey, if you have a better idea for how to store your... Uh, Grease gun, let me know. Put a comment down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like this video, give it a thumbs down and tell me why. I don't care. I mean, I care. If you, I don't care if you give me a thumbs down, just tell me why. I uh, would like to understand why you give me a thumbs down. That's all. If I can make an improvement, fine. If, if you just want to give thumbs down because you're... Uh, that's just your nature. Hey, give me a thumbs down and tell me it's just my nature. So, hey, thanks again. Like, share, and subscribe. And uh, see you next time here at my channel. Good day.